In this video, we're gonna be using the Carve Brass Razor with the most aggressive G plate. Ooh. We're also gonna be using the First Line Shave Red Shaving Soap. Stay tuned. Hey there, folks, and welcome back for another video. I'm your host, CDV, and welcome if it's your first time here as well. If it's your first time, I ask you to please subscribe below, and I hope you'll enjoy the content today. As mentioned, we're gonna be using the Carve Christopher Bradley, or as I like to call it, the Christopher Bailey razor in brass with the G plate. Now, this was sent to me uh, by Jack of Carve. He wanted me to try some additional plates, and uh, I'll show you the, you can see there. I don't know if you can see the G, but it is the G plate, which is their most aggressive uh, offering. And I have a Gillette, uh, <laughs> Gillette uh, Nasset blade in there. I really like the way this loads. I like the cutouts at the end. I know some blade protrudes and some people don't like that, but I've never had a problem with that. And I like that you can hold your your blade in there well. Uh, and one of the things I wanna mention about the carve is it has the smoothest threading that I think I've ever experienced. And it's kind of got a long uh, stem there too. It's just incredibly smooth in terms of the threading. And so this is their most aggressive offering. Uh, Jack knows that I like a good bit of face feel or aggression in D's. We're uh, a little under 24 hours on the growth, but that should still be a good test for the car. Gonna be using the PAA pre-shaved cube. Oh, I didn't talk about the soap. I'll talk about that in just a minute when we start applying the lather. Um, anyway, I like using this cube. Uh, just adds a little zip to the lather, I think. And uh, there's some good ingredients in it and it's done right. Again, I will link this stuff uh, below so you can check it out if you want to. The soap today is going to be the First Line Shave Red. I made an order with First Line Shave and I threw this one in because I had mentioned I had a sample and I liked it and I planned on pick it up, picking it up, but they threw it in. So please take that into consideration. It does make a creamy lather. Let me roll in a shot there. And uh, I think it's a nice quality. So smells great. This one is based on, what is it based on? I wrote it down. It's, uh, where is it? It's based on Fahrenheit by Christian Dior. And it is a very nice scent. The scent strength on it, uh, let's see, what am, I, what am I saying this is? I'm gonna call it about right at medium, five. And again, here's the tub. It's uh, red. The price on this is $19. Well, actually it's $20 for four ounces, but one, one dollar goes to backstoppers.org, which is to help fallen the families of fallen first responders, which is cool. And so you can take that in consideration. So if you if you knock off that one dollar, it's about four seventy five an ounce on a cost chart there, which is starting to get expensive. Uh, anything over four dollars per ounce starts to get expensive as it applies to shaving soaps. But this is a soap that has some nice ingredients. Let's put the ingredients there. Ingredients that I like in soaps, uh, it's got goat's milk, jojoba, shea butter, kokum. So I find that personally, I find that soaps with this sort of, these sort of ingredients tend to work very well for me and my skin. My skin isn't particularly finicky, but I find that these soaps with these ingredients uh, work better. And for me, these ingredients to me in a soap means much more than the type of tallow. That is to say, I don't give a hoot whether it's bear tallow, bison tallow, chupacabra tallow, unicorn tallow. <laughs> it makes no difference to me. Mutton tallow. Um, I just find that these ingredients, goat's milk, jojoba, shea, kokum, the butters are really what makes a shaving soap for me. Just my opinion. Some people will disagree with that. That is uh, okay. I really like... Oh yeah, that feels nice. I really like the butters. It's really what does it for me. Oh yeah, and so this is Carve's most aggressive offering, and yet it's still very smooth. It doesn't feel rough whatsoever. Excuse me, I'm gonna run some water here. I'm gonna run some water in the sink here so I don't have to keep turning the faucet on. Let me pause for a second while I run some water. All right, we got some water in there now so we don't have to keep running. The sink and this is still a very smooth shaver the thing about carve razors um 
So my first experience with Carve was, I think I got the B and C plates when I bought it and I didn't really care for it because I didn't find it efficient enough. And then um, Jack from the Virtual Groom Room sent me one with a D and E plate. And I was like, oh, this is a game changer. So if you get a Carve Razor and you're finding that it's not efficient enough or it's too efficient, um, definitely try different plates because it made all the difference. I love the handle on this one. This is their three inch. It is a fantastic razor. It is one of my favorite safety razors now, but it wasn't until I got those plates. And this G plate, I'm telling you right now, it's going to be my go-to um, because I just love, it's aggressive, but it doesn't feel aggressive. I can tell it's cutting though. And so I am really liking that, that it's efficient without feeling efficient. So a good way of putting it would be, it's easy on the face, but hard on the whiskers. That's what I'm looking for. I want to know I'm shaving. I want to feel a little bit of blade. And this by no means, it does not feel the least bit menacing to me in any way. It is nothing in my view to be afraid of. But then again, I've mostly been straight razor shaving. So I don't think any amount of blade feels going to feel menacing when you're used to using open blades. But this is fantastic. So I'm um, really happy about this plate offering. One of the things I want to say also about Carve is I think it would make a great first razor. And the reason why is I think you have you have several choices when you buy your first razor. And a lot of people go Merker 34C, which is excellent, an excellent choice. But if you want something a little more, a better quality, let's say, you can go either with the Rockwell or the Carve. I think I would make a case for Carve simply because their plates, so you can get a full razor for $73 US. And for this quality, I think that is a very, very good price for brass. Now they have stainless and aluminum and other offerings, but I really like the brass. And at $73, that is outstanding. Their plates are $22. So you can get a Carve and then get yourself a second plate and you're right at around that Rockwell 6S price, I want to say, which is somewhere around a hundred bucks. Um, and I think that, and I've owned a Rockwell 6S before. I don't right now, I have a Rockwell uh, 6C. I think the the car for me, um, based on what I remember about the 6S, because I don't have it, that should, <laughs> that should tell you something. I think the car works a little better for me. It's a, I think the quality of the, the Carve is a better razor than the Rockwell. Now, the Rockwell is an excellent razor in its own right, but chances are you're not gonna use all six plates if you order the, the full offering. Now that 6C is an excellent value at about, you can get it under 50 bucks, but the 6S a little more expensive for that stainless. Um, I would choose the Carve over the, the Rockwell stainless, just me personally, wow. One thing I'll tell you is, once you start straight razor shaving, DE shaving, when you go back to it, feels so easy. It feels like you're on, uh, feels like you're on absolute autopilot. Like, you don't have to worry about really cutting yourself. You can cut yourself, don't get me wrong. Because I realize there's a lot of DE shavers out there going, I just cut myself today. <laughs> but I don't really fear cutting myself with the DE razor too much. Um, I don't do it a lot. It can happen. You can, but, uh, for me, I've always found that the safety razors, a lot of times due to the safe, the, uh, bar, it'll sort of go over some of your skin imperfections. Whereas with a open blade, it just lops it off. Now it's funny that I, I heard JB from a distorted edge say just the opposite this morning, but in my own experience, um, a DE, I can just go right over skin blemishes and normally it won't grab them, but with the straight, it just lops it right off. <laughs> and so, uh, boy, this soap, I haven't spoken much about the soap, but really nice. This brush, by the way, is the West Coast Shaving Two-Tone, which was somewhere around 16, 17, it's less than 20 bucks. And uh, I really like it, really soft knot.
I don't know if you can see that cream there, but this uh, first shave, or what is it? First line shave, I'm sorry. Getting, they definitely have some good quality soaps. I like the ingredients in here. I did not like the fallout scent at all. Strongly disliked. <laughs> but uh, I have like the blue, the red, and the uh, razor ruby. And when he gets more of the blue, if he ever makes more, I'm gonna buy that for 100% sure because I love the scent. And this red is fantastic. Again, it's it's, it's inspired by um, Fahrenheit, by Christian Dior. The only, uh, the something that I would, um, a suggestion for first line shave, I think his name's Mr. Riley. And if I'm wrong, I apologize, Mr. Riley. Since these scents are inspired, I would put somewhere on your website, if it's not there, I didn't see it and I apologize if I missed it, what it's inspired by. Um, that way people can see it and, and know that it's inspired by something. Um, and that will also help them because a lot of people like this fragrance and maybe they want to use it. And so, um, but I think it's important when you do an inspired fragrance to, to put on there what it's inspired by. And so I did not see it. And if I did see it, I apologize. Or if I just missed it, I should, I should say, I apologize. Very nice. The G plate on here is fantastic for me. I love it. It's really, really nice. And the soap, super slick, good quality, no quality issues with first line shave. You can buy with confidence in terms of soap quality. It's going to be, it's going to be good quality as long as they're using uh, these ingredients. I want to mention DK real quick because uh, we were going back and forth on the candlelight video, busting chops. And then I saw his video and he was talking about uh, me being in my rocking chair knitting. So that's going to be the next tag video, a knitting challenge. He was cracking on me for being old, which I, I chuckled at. So nice job, DK. I always appreciate that. And folks, this is supposed to be fun. Don't be so uptight, you know. Uh, have a little fun with each other. You should be able to laugh at yourself and others. Don't they take things so seriously. I know like last week, a couple of people were upset about things and folks were arguing. I'm like, no, 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 this is supposed to be fun. And, you know, let's let's have fun with it. Did I just, no. I thought for a minute after all this talking about not cutting myself that I went and cut myself, but I didn't. Boy, this soap smells fantastic. I needed to get some of the splashes. I don't know if he offers splashes. So am, am I on my third pass now or have I already done the third pass? I don't remember. <laughs> well, we're going to do another one. Maybe I'm four passes now. I don't know. You know how I am. I get carried away. Get to talking and lose track. So we'll do a quick third pass here before we wrap this up. The aftershave, by the way, I'm going to use today is uh, Floyd Black, which is my favorite Floyd aftershave. I used to have uh, the, the, uh, the orange one and the blue one. I actually let those go way long ago because I really, I never thought the blue was all that great. I think there's some inspired by blue fragrances that are actually better than the Floyd blue. It's just me. You know, scent, scent uh, preference highly subjective. So a lot of people love that Floyd blue, but I think Floyd black is awesome. And if they have it on Amazon, I'll link it below for you. So let's go here with a, what I think is, if this is either our third pass or fourth pass. I don't know. <laughs> but we'll knock it out quickly so we don't have a video that lasts 40 days and 40 nights. Uh, I want to give a shout out to a viewer, Mark, because he linked a candle for me that was very funny. So I will share that with you. Um, Gwyneth Paltrow has a company called Goop. And she has some interesting candles that I think DK and uh, Ken Klitschko from Shea 326 might be interested in. So I will put a link below to that candle. Let me put a shot of it. I'll screenshot the page for you right there. <laughs> that has to be one of the more interesting candles out there, I would say. And so DK and, and Ken, there you go. There's your candle. It's funny stuff, man. I... Um, I had heard about that on the news before, and I thought, boy, that's that's a little off the beaten path, isn't it? <laughs> it's a little unusual for 
the name of a candle, but, uh, and it's quite expensive at 75 bucks. So I'm glad Ken and DK are going to be buying these $75 candles. That way they won't be buying up all the, uh, soaps. That way I can get a shot at them. Maybe if there's a hot soap, um, since they'll be buying these $75 candles. And then I can just slip on in and buy the soap. So that'll be great. Wow. So the verdict on the car with the G plate, it is not the least bit menacing for me. I find it efficient, but it's still, it does a great job, but it's still very smooth with this Nasset blade, which is on its second use. Awesome. Let me rinse the face. We'll come back and get into the post. Stay tuned. All right. We are back with our Lancaster towel. And as pointed out by the dude of shaving, you don't really have to rub with these towels. Just pat and it'll wick that moisture right off. Sometimes rubbing actually irritates the face. So be cognizant of that. We'll go ahead and hit ourselves with the Magic Made by Witches Thayers. And I will put, um, put some links below both for these bottles. And I'll actually put a link for a Thayer's with a spray because I do find it's a better application method and I find that it lasts a little longer. Um, so the shave today with the carve, with the G plate, um, really, really nice and smooth. Not the least bit menacing for me, but I like a little bit of blade feel. The G plate gives it. So if you found your carve to be too mild, grab that G, you'll feel the blade a little more. But overall, I think at the price they offer this razor for brass, 73 bucks, terrific value. And you can pick those plates up for $22. I think the Carve is one of the best premium offerings that comes to you at what I would consider to be a, a fairly budget price. Only Razor Rock can beat the Carve, I think, when it comes to having a really good offering for a decent price. Uh, first line shave, red. This is a great scent, again, inspired by uh, Christian Dior. Fahrenheit is the name of the cologne. <sighs> it's a great scent. It is really outstanding quality. My face feels great. And the brush was West Coast Shaving. Really good value. And we're gonna finish off with some Floyd Black. I do have another bottle of this. This is one of my favorite aftershaves. I just find it goes with almost anything. And so we're gonna slap this on and, and get to rolling with our day. Oh yeah. Fantastic, this Floyd Black. Artisans, if any artisans are watching, if somebody can make this in a soap, I'm in, I'm in. This stuff, is it's got a beautiful cologne-like scent. I can't really describe it. It's citrusy, but it's got some other stuff in there. It's really phenomenal, I think. I wanna thank each and every one of you for joining me. I wanna remind you, I'm your host, CDB. It's your shave, do it your way, and as always, God bless.